hi guys welcome back to another tutorial video in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create a dispersion or splatter effect like this in affinity photo so i'm gonna use this photo from us place as an example i'll put the link in the description just click on it to download this photo or you can use any photo that you like okay so without any further ado let's get started first open up affinity photo and import a photo Then duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. So we need to separate the object and the background into two layers. This is background layer and this is object layer. For the background layer, we're gonna remove the object using inpainting. So use selection tool to select the object. Then go to edit, fill, and choose inpainting. Then click apply. And press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. And do the same for the object layer your selection tool to select the object it doesn't need to be very accurate just select the outside part of the object because as you can see this photo has a plain background so we can remove the remaining white color using select sample color okay then mask this layer to remove the background and press ctrl D again to deselect then click this object layer okay go to select select sample color and click this white color just leave the tolerance at 15% and then click apply to select the remaining white color then press this mask layer and click delete to remove the remaining white color so after that we don't need this mask layer anymore so right click on it then release mask and merge down to the object layer okay then make sure this object layer is selected and go to liquify persona and make sure you're using this liquify push forward tool so we're gonna use this tool to stretch and warp the object as wide as possible okay just click on the object hold and then drag it out like this to stretch the object so what we're gonna do is we're going to stretch this part as what as possible and leave this part completely intact because when we apply the splatter effect we're only gonna apply it to this part and we're gonna leave this part visible so when we apply the effect this part will turn into small particle or dust and it will look like it separated from the main body you will see what I mean later okay let's continue just warp it as far as possible I think it's good if you have done click apply next we're gonna apply the splatter effect okay so mask 
the object layer and make sure the foreground color is black and this mask layer is selected then use brush tool and change the brush shape you can use brush from dry media like this brush or you can use sprays and spatterous brush okay so I'm gonna use this brush or if you have cloud or smoke brush you can use it as well it will look like this body turn into smoke yeah if you have it okay so just paint over this on this side to apply the splatter effect okay like this you can mix it as well use bigger brush and paint it like this and then mix it with smaller brush okay it might take a while so I'm just gonna fast forward this part until finish it's done so that was how to apply a dispersion or splatter effect and this is the final result okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video